Hi friends. All right. So I just want to talk a little bit about some basics of armor design. Okay. So first of all, this is a magnificent book. It's called European Armor by Claude Blair. Um, it's so good. It's no longer in print, I don't think. Uh, and so it's a bit of a collector's item. So if you find it, uh, for a reasonable price, uh, I would recommend getting it if you're really serious about studying armor and its history in detail. Um, this one was like 60 something dollars and that was a good price actually. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but anyway, so the one thing that I really want to cover right now is, uh, the breastplate. Okay. So these are some pictures of all historical breastplates. Um, the mixture of the breastplate and the backplate, so like that and that, it's called the cuirass, okay? Breastplate, backplate, and then usually also the placard, the part that covers your stomach, and then the folds and the tassets. The folds are that skirt, and then the tassets are these plates right here. So breastplate, backplate, folds, uh, fold, tassets, um, that's the cuirass, okay? Uh, or just breastplate and backplate. Uh, it depends on who you ask, honestly, but... Um, the main, main element I want to talk about is notice the shape. Notice the overall outline. Some people refer to that as the wasp shape. Okay. Um, fashion at this time in the 14th and 15th centuries, uh, men and women, everyone had this waist that came right in here at the natural waistline in clothing and in armor. Um, and I think that the clothing fashion at the time and the armor fashion at the time affected each other um, because this has a purpose. It makes it so the breastplate, you can see this is a profile. These lines are profiles. You can see the breastplate and the placard come out and then come in right at the belly button or the hips. Okay. the Sorry, not the hips, the, above the hips, the natural waist. Okay. So notice that it doesn't just go straight down and it's not flat to the chest. This is for mobility. Okay. Uh, if you bend down, you bend at the waist. You don't, your entire spine doesn't really bend. Uh, and you don't just bend at the hips. So if a breastplate was to be straight, flat and go all the way down to your hips, like you see in a lot of art and fantasy things and stuff, um, if you did that, the top line right here would come right up and hit you in the throat, <laughs> which imagine what would happen if you were to say fall off a horse uh, or get tripped by someone with a pole axe or something that that could do some serious, even lethal damage. Um, and it would just be so uncomfortable all the time. You couldn't do anything. I know this because I've made cosplays before with very flat breastplates and placards that didn't articulate like these did, like that didn't overlap like these did. Um, and it was uncomfortable when I, I would sit down and be have my back completely straight. Um, so you have almost complete range of mobility in armor, and this is one of the big reasons why, is this wasp shape. Um, so yeah, I hope that's helpful for understanding armor in general. Um, additionally, I hope this can help any artists or authors out there, uh, understand the basic elements of armor just a little bit more. Um, cause I love to see that sort of thing. I love to see realistic by realistic. I at least mean, um, functional fantasy armor. I think that's just an amazing thing. That is a cool thing to have. Um, notice this one is relatively straight, but it's also super segmented anyway. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. And then this might be a dedicated video, but this also shows that the, the classic fantasy, um, steel bra that you often see on women doesn't make any sense because the breastplate is not actually that fitted to the chest in general. Um, so I would just like to point that out as well. Um, and that's, that's going to be probably some of its own videos, more on fantasy design and stuff. But um, yeah, so this is the, the basic element of armor. If you can draw or design, uh, you know, armor like this with that wasp shape, you're on the right track. 
Um, even if you look at modern bulletproof vests, you know, Kevlar vests and riot gear and stuff like that, it all terminates at the belly button. Um, uh, you can even try this with like cardboard or something, just like put it on you and see, <laughs> you know, that you really can't move when it's rigid and it goes all the way to the hips and you really can move. Like there's very little it uh, hinders if it just goes from the neck to the belly button. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, love, <laughs> remember to love yourselves and, uh, have a great day.